My name is Dora Klinova. I'm a Holocaust survivor. And I want to tell people the first, forgive. Forgive everybody he, who did for you something wrong. Because they do wrong. Because something wrong with them. Happy people do not insult anybody. Happy people spray and share the happiness. Forgive them. It is the first. And giving is receiving. Give whatever you can to everybody. Share with them. And it will come to you better. More much will come. Hello, I'm Sandra Scheller and Our Lives Are Future. I'm with the Chula Vista Heritage Museum and the South Bay Historical Society. Thank you, Dr. Bronners, for coming to our rescue. I am with Dora Klinova. She was a Holocaust survivor from Ukraine, from Odessa. You were born in 1935, and I loved what you said. You know what you said to me? You said that you were born um, the day after Jesus. You were born on December 26th. So this is really wonderful. Dora, yes. you told me something really great. You said that you think that you took your genes from your father yes. more than your mother. You yes. felt a lot my of... Mom, my mama was a very beautiful woman. Uh-huh. Just a simple woman. My father was, was, as I remember him, because I remember he was killed in, uh, I uh, last time saw him when I was five and a half years old. S After this, I didn't see him. He was killed, he was under my, and I wrote, Papa, you remember me? I wrote a story in this book, and. Name of this book? Papa. Can you get this on Amazon? Yes. Okay, so, she, God, she wrote some amazing books here. A Melody from an Immigrant Soul by Dora Klinova. Papa, can you hear me? Is yes. that it? Yes. Papa, can you hear me? What a great, great thing. My dear father, my glorious light, where are you? How old were you when you wrote this, by the way? Uh, he uh, left f me five and a half years when you, Right, when you were five and a half. Where are your dark brown eyes that glitter with laughter, with laughing sparks when you played with me? Where is your voice that is so tender? Where are your strong hands that threw me in the ceiling so easily? Where is your robust, uh, graceful body? A cruel, unjust war took you away from me. You were only 32 and incredibly talented. Everyone I can be proud of in its personality, I received from your genes. You left for the war when I was a baby. I barely remember you. My daughter is now older than you were. Only your warm touch, the sense of comfort, happiness, and entire protection that radiated from you are stored somewhere in my consciousness. My memory holds elusive feelings that I had something great in the very beginning of my life and lost this treasure forever. Subconsciously, hopeless, uh, continuously, I still seek it. So, where did your father die? Where was he killed? He was killed, he was blown on the mine. He was blown on a mine? On the mine, yes, and it is interesting. I have here a picture of my father. Right, I saw the yes, photo. Yes, and yes, I found a no, picture. I was in Israel. I was in Israel with my, uh, in visited my cousin, uh -huh. Anichka, and she showed me all pictures. And because we didn't have Was any this picture. the first time that you saw the picture? For my, because we didn't have any pictures. And somebody said to you, this is a picture my, of my, my father. My said, uh, uh, took from old Adam, she said, it is your father. Oh my gosh. It is your father. And the picture was torn, half, half a picture was torn. Mm. And I, I, this is, I uh, restore already this sure. picture. Sure. 
We'll, we'll just, make uh, it a point to get this so you can see it. Yes. Wow, and, uh, Dora. And it was half a picture. And I came to the United States and I came to Computer Man and I said, make a portrait. He oh, said, I see exactly what happened. Yes. <gasps> and I, he said, I cannot. I said, try. I will pay you anywhere. And uh, so he restored the, the portrait and I have this portrait in my bedroom on the wall. Wow. Th this is really incredible. So you lost your father. I lost my father. In 1941. In 1941. What happened to you, Dora? My, my father had um, a, a permission to take us, our family, to, uh, no, to take out from Odessa. From Odessa, but it was just you Odessa and your mother. Was, Odessa was bombing. Right, it was just you and your mother. I, uh, yes, and, but we went with this truck, we went to to the parents of my mama. You went to the parents, parents of your mother to, to and another, father? Yes, to another street. In a to, truck? In a truck. And uh, my grandfather, my grandfather and my grandmother and Mama's sister, my aunt Rachel, was staying here, and Mama, uh, 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 sister Rachel and grandmother went to the truck, and the father, the grandfather said, no, I cannot go. I remember first war, first German, war with German. They didn't touch the Jews. Why you need to go to anywhere? This is what your grandfather said. Yes, I cannot go. You go, I won't go. I'm going to stay here. I could stay here. So my grandmother went from the truck. I did not leave him alone, alone. And Rachel was with us. And we, uh, no, the driver ran because... Rachel is... Mama's sister. Okay, so my your mother's sister, Rachel, was with you. And yes, with... But the grandmother and your grandmother and grandfather got off the truck and said, we're not leaving we're staying here. Yes, and my grandfather, I picture, he looked like an orthodox Jew. It is here a picture. Oh, I'll, I'll show yeah. it. Uh, okay. Take a look, sort of, for evacuation. Evacuation, okay. And we drove, and what I remember, I remember perhaps the bomb hit the, the horses, and I remember troops, no, parts of the horses all around. The horses were, were can't cut. Sorrowful evacuation. Yes, to the memory. But I don't this is my mama. Right. Oh, there we go. So, this is your fa This is your grandfather. This is my grandfather. From your mother, and he refused to get off. He, yes. he was not going to go on the truck. And this is a picture of you and your and mom. my mama. Now, let me just ask you, did your mom survive? Yes. My mom died in 1990. 1990? Yes. Did your, were you placed in in a camp? Were you in a ghetto? What we, happened? I can explain. Yes. We, we around, uh, I remember that, no, a signal and another truck approached us, and it was uh, my father, a uh, friend, and uh, also from his uh, army uh, unit, and he said that he was, uh, he has um, an order to take, to go in this truck, in our truck, to take his family, to, to follow, to, to put us somewhere and to, to take his family. And so my father left, he, he left, and he left to the, to, to the front. And, uh, no, my father left this truck with us. We left the truck with you. With, with us, uh, with mama in front seat. Right. With with the driver. With the driver. And Rachel was above on the in the truck and, above. Okay, Rachel was above in the truck. Yes. Oh my gosh. And TFS and uh, this man, and uh, the driver brought us in in a remote village. To a remote village. Village somewhere. Do you remember where it was? I don't remember, of course. It is, I remember only that we were, uh, what I remember is that it was, it was hard, it was July. Or it was in July, so. Yeah, it was very hard. And they we took you the, to a remote uh, village. A remote village. Uh, the window was very close, we closed with. Wood? 
If it's wound, yeah. Yeah, they put they they boarded up all the yes the windows. And on the, you know, you know, I'm do it was a child's face, and Mama knocked to to this window and asked asked her to open, and they said no. You are Jews. We cannot. We, it's a, it's a, uh, we can't open the door because you're yes, Jewish. You're Jewish, and uh, they will come anyway. It's a, it's a German, and we were staying for a long time. What I remember, I remember something dark room, and uh, Mama and we were staying in this, and uh, Mama didn't let me talk. Mama put. Hand Her on. hand on your mouth. Yes. You couldn't and say I anything. don't remember how many days it was. I don't remember this. I just remember that um, one day I ran away. You ran away? I ran away. You're five, six years old. Yes. And it was a field with grown up wheat. And somebody uh, didn't let us go because no, there were no Jews. Another Jews in this only only us because it was a small village, but somebody, maybe a police or whatever, was told to keep to keep us. But when the, the child ran away, I ran away. So they, he he was scared that the child, this little Jew, ran away. So they um, he let I understand. I don't remember this, and I don't know, uh, because Mama never ever talked about this, never ever. After this, she never talked about this period. That of you ran that. away. No, I remember that. I right, but she didn't talk about it. No, about this period where we kept what we were kept. So that I ran away. No, somebody came to to count the the gift or whatever. They found me. I was scared, and perhaps I was crying, and I was alone. And they found me, and I said to them, I don't, I, this I remember exactly, five years old, I don't have anybody, I don't have mama, I don't have papa, I'm alone, please take me, take care of me. I didn't cry, yes. And I remember my feeling, papa left me under the bomb and left me. Uh, Mama didn't let me to talk, even to cry. So I ran away from them and asked somebody to take care of me, <laughs> five years old. And um, as I understand that these women, two women who found me, they brought us secretly in their house. Oh. And, and, but I don't know how many. How it was like a beginning of theater. They, they started to to create the theater with this uh, man who took. Her. How did how did you get back with your mother? These the, two so women uh, find they, you. They were saying take they care came of to me. The, to to. They asked people, and somebody. Who's this little girl? Katowata. Who is yes. this? And so these two Jewish women, women right. my mama and sister. Her sister ran uh, around the village Looking trying to, to find me. And then they found me. And what I remember, I remember that in the evening at night, a man came with his horses, with this cart, with the horses like this. And and put us on this and drove us all night. He drove us to. Uh, let me uh, let me tell you. I, I will find it. It is. I wrote this sorrowful evacuation in the very end. At the sorrowful evacuation. In the very end. Okay. Around okay. midnight, an old man appeared near us. He put his finger on lips to be silent and he took us to the outskirts of the village. This I remember. He gave us bread and water. A horse and wagon waited for us. All night we rode, trying not to make noise. The old man brought us to a gathering point for refugees. Mama offered him money. You need this money more than me, he answered and left. My dear unknown old man, 
I believe that our souls are immortal. Please acknowledge my humble thanks, my tremendous gratitude for the ride in the dark night with the hum of bombs for the bread and water and for our lives. Yeah. So tell me, from 1941 to 1945, what was life like for you? Okay, I remember a very, very, very long ride under the bombs. And I remember we were in Echelon. Echelon? Yes. And the, the airplanes came and they shoot, and people ran away from us. So you were time. being shot at down below? Yes, and they shot. And they, we were, they go under, under the cart. Go under the cart. Under the cart were the horses yeah. and things. You, you hid. Under, under the... No, it's a, it's a train. Under the train? Oh. Yes. The train stopped. The train and you stopped. went under the train? Under the train. It's Mama and Rachel. And I was on the, no, under the train. What I remember, and it was so scary, and I was five, and Mama and Rachel, and Rachel, not Mama, covered me with her body. She put, she, she put me under, under her body. Her body. And this subconsciously from five I remember forever and I gave Rachel all my love until she died and I brought her into the United States and I uh, and she died in the year 92 she was 92 mama mama died in Odessa 90. and no, I mama died in, in Odessa, in Odessa and I but you were closer to Rachel because she covered you with, with her body with during her body. the bombing. This I understood much later when I became adult. I in I understood what happened, why I am so I I give so much love and attention to, to, to Rachel. Because this gesture she when I was five, scared to death, she covered me during the bombing. She covered me with her body. And so now, 1942, 43, 44. They kept us, the name is Sarai or whatever, a, a room where um, they kept the animals. So the in animals. a barn. They, in in yeah. a barn. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And it was still before um, this man took us in the horses to, to this. To this barn. Yeah. Before, but we were in this village, okay. and I remember they started the ghetto with these small little groups of of. There were other people in the barn. I remember only a couple of them. I actually don't remember. But little by little, more people were coming to the barn. I never, I never was told about Mama. With my husband, and my, my, with my little daughter, uh -huh. I we moved to a new uh, flat. You went back to see your mom, and, and my mama came to me visit, and in another building lived to one man, and he and sh they talked each, to each other very often, talking in Yiddish. And she came to me with me, and he said to me later that. We were together in ghetto. So this was somebody that your mother met. Met. When you went back with your husband and daughter. Yes, when I to was visit. maybe already 45 years old or whatever. Right. And so now your mother said this was somebody that I met in the ghetto. Absolutely, yes. Did you ever see him before? Do you remember him? Uh, when I was young, no. Because I I told, I'm telling you the room was. But out. your mother never remarried. No. Wow. She never remarried. She was very 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 uh, lonesome, and she uh, because of my father, and she was very glad that Rachel took care of me. And I think it was her big big mistake, because she lost me. As my love. No. I gave no, my love to Rachel. You gave your love to Rachel, but I also think, this is my opinion, she gave you life 
Dora. No, no, no. This is... But, but you have to remember that no matter what goes on, okay? No. Mama gave you I, life. I, I understand this Mama, love. Mama gave you the creation. I but understand Rachel this love. Gave you, love. Rachel gave you the love because maybe we'll never know what Rachel lost in the past. Where was Rachel's husband? Was she married or never married? She died in 1992 being a virgin. Wow. She never was close to a man. Wow. And you know what, talking about your, uh, your specialty, our life is our future. Uh -huh. She taught me stay out from the man. Stay, stay away out from, from Stay out when I grew, grew when I was and I stay was away from men. Stay away from from boys. Why? Stay away from. Don't let the boy take your hand. Don't let the boy kiss you before he is offering you the marriage. Wow. Don't let to do to. And you know what? What happened with these Rachel teachings? It affected my relationship with the man in my young in my in young, young years in my young years now i'm much smarter i think i think rachel wanted you to find the right person because dora you're a beautiful woman i mean even now you're 84 85 i will be 85 in a year in a month okay and you're a beautiful woman so she was just of doing, course she did her she best she was doing her job your mom lost her my mom, husband my mom was very very upset but do me a favor my opinion just my opinion you have you forgave obviously of course of I course of course so, I forgave um, what were you eating? 42? Out of curiosity, what did you eat? What did you wear? Did you did you did you lose a lot of weight? Did you have water? What? Tell me what it's like being in this ghetto. Absolutely don't remember. No. So when when they brought us to, uh, I remember that we came, and I remember the name of the city. We do, we went with echelons uh -huh. to the bomb because you know. German approach us. This we ran away and German. weren't you scared? Huh? Weren't you scared? But of course I was. Of course scared. you were. Of course I was scared. And I remember that we came to Krasnovodsk, and I look in, in the map, and I and Krasnovodsk. It is still the name of the city they have. This Krasnovodsk. No, it is all Krasnovodsk. Uh -huh. I found it on internet, and it is. It is Caspian Sea, right? In Krasnovodsk, it's on the west side, and then we went to. We appeared to be in Uzbekistan, and Uzbekistan it's uh, on the on the, uh, to the ship to the sea. I don't remember. I understand that we by by train or whatever we were around the Caspian, the Caspian sea, sea to to come to. We came. To Tashkent. Tashkent. And in Tashkent, they brought us. It was a Tashkent garden, very, very, very famous. And it was. They put all these refugees in Tashkent garden, and people with children, with their, uh, no, belongings, whatever. They, they, uh, it was hot. It was summer. They slept on the on the on the ground or whatever and lies oh my gosh all around you were just covered with lice covered with lice Ugh. all over covered with lice and a few days later relatives that were they, uh, they, were run, uh, they came to this place few, uh, I don't know, uh, bef before us. And they lived in the city of Chichik. 
it is also near Tashkent, and they came to the garden each day, trying to find somebody from their relative, maybe somebody new arrived, and they found us. And then we lived a few days in their place. <laughs> they bossed us finally. <laughs> With <laughs> what? Uh-huh. How do you kill lice? I have an ancestry. <laughs> this wonderful small, little small lice. Little I have small something lice. About them. Yes. Little small. I played with them. It you was my toys. What you are looking? The what? lice. Uh, yeah, I like this. I like lice that crawl around me. Those and cute play. little lice. Yeah. <laughs> Those cute little lice. Head lice infest as many as six million United States kids yearly. That's in the San Diego Union. Absently watching TV, I caught the word lice. Nix kills lice and eggs. The ad- the uh, advertisement was repeated again and again. There are lice in United States. Impossible. I couldn't believe it. So being a child, I didn't understand that having lice was awful. I perceived it as proper thing. Everyone around me had them. I don't know. Now, this more than 50 years later, oh my God. I collected lice with laughter <laughs> and humor. It was a funny event, mm-hmm. not sad. Really, why do you need to be dramatic in unpleasant situations? No, no, don't, don't read it. Don't read it. Don't read it? <laughs> no. I am sure that nobody has written a poem or a lovely description of lice. Lice is not an attractive name. So what? It's their fault. People give them the name. They want to survive like everyone created, everything created by God. Mice are not attractive either. But there are a lot of tales about mice and nothing about lice. Even the famous composer Tchaikovsky permitted mice to dance in his ballet the Nutcracker. Yes, there were no lice in the Nutcracker. <laughs> Not only composer, but <laughs> lice in the ballet. This is this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So, so you're they, playing with them. They're in your hair, and you're going. Beep, there's. Oh, uh, hello. How are you? Of I'm going to call can. you Fred. Yes. Hello. And what is your name? I'm going to call you Lily. Okay. And what is your name? Oh, oh my God. Oh, Lordy. You're the lice collector. <laughs> Don't put it in the recording, please. I'm not going to put it in my recording. Exactly no. I need a little laughter here. So you're collecting the lice, but the thing is, so they- what I see from an early age... Okay, not to point, but what I see from an early age, you learn to survive with humor. And other people did this too. Don't be ashamed of it. I know somebody who was in a gas chamber and the gas didn't work that day. And she said, oh, they forgot to pay the gas bill. So I've heard all kinds of stories. Lice, I haven't heard about, but this is a good one, okay? Um, But you found the humor in everything, Dora. You found humor. I don't know. I found humor now. You found what? Now, when I wrote the story. This yeah, story, you, this yeah. Thing. The, the, you, you, I mean, my God, your stories are amazing. These are just absolutely amazing. So now, you're in a place that's supposed to be beautiful with flowers, where they put you. You've now got lice all over. The relatives take you out. They bathe you, they comb you. Yes, they and get we, waited, we waited for a place that uh, the government supposed us to give a special place, and they put us in the city of Jizak. Jizak, okay. And it is also exists, it is near Samarkand. It is also now the city. Okay. It is now more like. What year is this? This is 42, 43, 44. But 42, and then. Uh, in uh, I became seven, not seven. For uh, um, uh, at forty-two uh, in September, I was only six and a half because uh-huh. I was born in uh, December. But Mama didn't know what to do with me, and she asked, and she had a teacher in the school, 
uh, in the first gra uh, grade and she asked me to um, her per the permission to put me in the school just to sit on um, well you could just learn you could do no, something yeah, with your just life. to sit to keep an eye on me because okay, to keep an eye. Okay. because they they ran off, uh, they ran around the city you know uh, mama, mama was and busy. Rachel, Rachel to, to find something to eat whatever right and <laughs> And I remember, and the teacher, and she made me a, a notebook a for, from wrapping paper. From wrapping paper, she yes, made she, you a notebook. And she, uh, um, uh, no, it's, it's um, pencils. She, she lines. Uh, she did the lines. The lines, uh -huh. yes. And if you remember, it was a pen, pen and ink, and I wrote, and everything that I write here. It was uh, on the another side. On the other side. Oh yes. My God. And then I wrote on another side also. You can imagine that how much. <laughs> so then I then I started my writing <laughs> that I made so many books. That's when you started saying you had so much inside that when she gave you the pen and the ink, it was a way of saying, Dora, one day. You will be able to write this down. It was, I, I, I'm joking now, at that time, I just, uh, I just did whatever, but I, the teacher told me. Told it you was, to do, okay. I was sitting in the class and they told but me. But you liked Mama, it. Mama, whatever. Yeah, they told you what to write, but some <laughs> children didn't get education. At least you were able to be in the classroom to get you know, what you needed. It isn't, it isn't, no. Okay. Did you feel safe in Jazak? From one big years. No, yeah, no, did you feel safe where you were living, where you slept? Uh, you know, uh, we came, uh, we were given a, a room made from, from clay. From clay? Yes. From clay, no... Um, windows? No windows, and only one opening was like this, under the ceiling. How big, and how I would, big was the room? Um, no, the room, I don't know. No. It, it was two, two beds, I remember, table. And what I did... Two beds and a table, so you slept in a bed, but where did mama, Rachel sleep and where did Mama another, sleep? In another, I slept perhaps with Mama. I, I don't you remember. slept in the same bed with Mom? I, I don't remember this. And I remember that they left me alone. For all day, nobody babysat me, and I was alone, and I didn't know what to do. And behind the door was a dog, a huge, big dog, on the chain. His name was Pirat. 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 And I was scared, and he was the poor dog was very hungry, and he uh, 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 opened his mouth like uh, no barking at yeah. me, and I didn't know what to do, and I was scared I could go. Uh, uh, the uh, dog. Yes, and I found after oh, I found a huge distance between the wall and where the dog could reach that I could go walk through. Yes, and it was a huge garden, garden with um, uh, with cherry trees oh yeah and cherries no i couldn't reach the cherry but cherry fall down and i in my dress i put cherries and i came to the dog and i threw, threw, threw the cherries to the dog and he uh, eat with, with the peat with, with whatever and then after i fed them for a few Weeks, whatever. You became good he friends. became more, more, more or less friendly. friendly. But anyway, very, very. Uh, I was afraid of him. Anyway, I remember. So I was six years old, seven, whatever. A child was all day alone, and it is. You was, hated it. It is not because it, I didn't understand. I didn't understand that I shouldn't be alone. Right. Yeah, I, I understand it now. You're but six years that. old and you're alone. That's why when people say to me, how early should we teach the Holocaust? I don't know. There were people that were in the Holocaust that were five and six years old. You tell me when you think you want to, you know, what is the right age to teach? And it is interesting that uh, this clay room belonged to, to, to a house. It was another house where the... 
a, a Russian family. It was like a dacha, like a uh, little clay house. Yeah, uh, who knows? And it was um, a woman. No, I saw her in the yard. Uh -huh. She never ever came to me, offered me a piece of bread, whatever. Nothing. We, we lived over there for three and a half years. You lived there for three and a half years yes. and she never we, came over? Yeah, yeah we left. You my, were alone from six years old, seven years old, eight years yes. old, nine years old. No, I, I was alone on day. My mind and Rachel came at night. Right, they came at night, but you don't know what they did. No, they ran, who knows, they ran to, to try to find You're something. all alone in this little clay house with no windows. And you know what I did? I did. I put the, the chair and then I on the then I put the chair from the chair on the table and I took the, the chair on the table and put myself on this chair on the table. I put over there. You sat on top of a table on, on a chair. On the chair. It's like and me taking my chair, putting it here and sitting up here. Yes. And I was looking in this opening. Oh, the you looked out at the And behind opening. this, it was mountains. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mountains. And I was staying, watching these mountains for hours, for hours. And one, one, one time, Mama, it was a, a, a springtime, Mama took me to these mountains. <gasps> And it was a blooming something, and I remember it was outstanding walk with Mama, and she said, "We will come back again." Never came back. But you never came back. But you went yeah. back in your mind. You yeah. still remember those and mountains. By the way, what I really remember when we came to the Jizak, and I, uh, something happened with me because I was not able to walk. I was all swollen, and my feet were like this. My little feet, I was six already, because we, long time, very long time, it was winter, I don't know, when we came, I don't remember exactly. We left this place in October. Of 1944. 44. Yes. But what is the thing I wanted to tell? When I was in the first class, in the first class, they gave me this, Mama gave me this notebook, and I was not supposed to, to study, no. But I, everybody studied, so I studied. And um, the teacher, and I remember, it was 40, or oh, I know, 42, it was 42. Her name was Bella Simeonovna. What was it? Bella Simeonovna. Bella, Bella Simeonovna. Bella Simeonin. Yes. Do you have it written down? No. Bella? Bella Simeonovna has name is it. Teacher. I don't know how to say the last name. Simeonovna. It is not. Sim Simeonovna. It, it is not last. It is Simeonovna. Sim it doesn't matter. <laughs> Miss Bella. It doesn't important. So, and she put something on the desk when we need to put it to, to it one down. plus one, two plus two, what, yeah. whatever. And nobody knew, and I always raised it, I knew. And the children hated me. Because these little ones knew better than me. And they were children, eight years old, nine years old, because you know, it was the war. Um, and so whatever the parents could bring the children in the first uh, grade, they brought. Okay. And they beat me. They beat you? Yeah. They beat me, and I was sitting in the in the corner crying, and I didn't understand why they beat me. And I came to back to Mama, and I said that they children beat me. She said, "Beat them back." So what did you do? And I beat them back. They beat me more. <laughs> How I can beat a thirteen-year-old uh, boy? They beat me. So I had terrible, terrible. Mm, I was scared of the children. I didn't know right. what to do with myself. <laughs> it was terrible, a terrible experience of my first, first uh, years in the school. Sure. Then we came back in, into Odessa. You came back in 1944. 
in 1944. And I also write about, wrote about this. I started in school, I started very good when I approached the... You're nine years old. Yes, no. No, the war was over already, and um, Papa, Papa killed, it was and over. I, I graduated the school, and I needed to go to the university. But you're nine years old, 1944, yeah, you're yes, nine I'm years nine old. Yes, I'm nine years old. I'm jumping a little bit farther. You jumped, okay. It's so, okay? So no, you, I studied in the school. Right, but what I'm saying is, what was it like when you went back to Odessa in 1944? What Maybe do you remember? A wrecked, a wrecked city. You, you, it was a wrecked city? Yes, when we was came... Was your house there? We came to the room uh, where I was born, and um, I came up to the room. Was everything uh, there, we, we or lived, did somebody steal from you? We lived in a commune apartment. Okay. We had a room in commune. Uh -huh. Commune apartment. Uh -huh. I, I need to to to, to see. sure sure. <laughs> so you're in a in a commune in a apartment. Commune apartment, and I I remember that we came in this our room, and it uh, we the the neighbors we uh, the other neighbors they were killed, and um, a Russian family lived over there. Did they steal from you? Was everything there, or was no, there it, nothing when you came to your house? When I came to, uh, we had a room um, uh, shorter than this, perhaps like this. It was no, not a big room, and um, I remember that the ceiling was falling, falling. And the ceiling was so we couldn't live in this room. And um, we were given another terrible apartment. Terrible, right. terrible, yes, we lived in this terrible apartment. Mm -hmm. And I, I studied in the school. And can I jam a little bit further? Because you certainly uh, can. Yes. Yeah, so now you're in the fifties. What and happened? And it's fifty-two. Uh huh. I graduated school. Okay. And it was uh, the, in Ukraine. You the, graduated in Odessa, and in it Odessa. was a year of Jewish. Um, Jewish uh, doctors uh -huh. when anti-Semitism had grown and they didn't um, and that was very very good in writing um, in writing uh, uh, Russian in Russian language uh -huh. and um, and I made very good uh, stories uh, oh, oh, yes and only A's you know we say five right one five not eight uh -huh. only five since the teacher always said, uh, beautiful, gorgeous, maladies, maladies, yes, but when it was the examination, when I was on exam, she put me for my, um, I, I, I supposed to, to, to get a medal, uh -huh. and if I had a medal, I would go to the university without exam. And in where? So without the exam. Without the exam, right. When you have a medal, then you don't to, need an exam. To university, yes. And I, on the first exam, was a Russian, uh, a Russian composition. And she made me not A, she, she put me B. She put me B. And because of B, and then, uh, uh, so in, in other B, they, they put me in math, and I was very good in math. And because of this, so I, I couldn't receive the medal. And I, uh, when I came to the uh, university to put, to make my exam, and I did very, very well. It was six exams, and I was very, very well done. And the only English supposed to be, and I was very, very good in English. I studied English for the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Very good. I didn't have any B during uh, these all years. Wow. And Mama told everybody, okay, she, my daughter is a student because no, and I'm supposed to uh, to translate two sentences from English to Russian with a dictionary. Right. What were yes. the sentences? And gave and gave me only one sentence. One sentence starts it from the beginning to the, of the page to the end, and it was from Capital Marx. 
one sentence. Oh my God! I didn't type up it. And said, yes, one sentence. One sentence. And suddenly I couldn't. And they, they made me F. And I didn't come to the. Uh, so they didn't take me to the university. And I wrote about that. Uh, yeah, it is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I came to the school and they said, what you did? What? what? Look at her. All this. A's all and good grades. Yeah. He said, they said, what are you talking about? She's supposed to, to translate one sen two sentences. We gave her one sentence she was not able to translate. And it, because it was And I song. wrote a letter to dear Kamrit Stalin. Yeah. And Kamrit Stalin answer me. No, not, uh, of course, yeah. that unfortunately it is late already. No, he answered me a few, a few months later. Um, no, somebody answered, somebody sent me. So come next year and repeat your examination. Come next year. And, but it is, um, uh, I was... But let me ask you something, not to interrupt you. Did you have any friends when you were in hiding in the clay or you were always alone? No, of course I was alone. What friends? Uh, you, in what you time? Six years old. Of right. Not. You just remember that you were in this room and you put your chair on the table dreaming this, about the mountain. Yes, I remember and you only this. Got to go and there I remember time. the Doc Pirat and I remember the, the, the chairs the chairs. that I carry wow. around. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And I remember this woman who never, who looked at me. Mm, the, and never, never, never ever told even me. Even had a conversation. Told me a word. Wow. Yeah. So and the child was running alone. Did the, you, it, when you were in school and you were older, you're more mature. Did you get closer to your mom, or were you getting further apart mama, from your mom? Mama, in her way, she took very, very good care of me. She took really good care. Yeah. Just, I'm telling you, that time, I was very upset, no. She was a mom? Yeah, but she took very, very good care of me. Wow, I'm happy to hear and that. And mama is buried on, in uh, Odessa. Uh-huh. And I have, I hired a special woman who takes care of her. Grave. Grave, and I send her. Each year, I send her money. Uh -huh. I am in So Israel. let me ask you, what kind of work did you do in the Soviet Union? So this year, I didn't, they didn't take me to the university. So uh -huh. next year, I was accepted and I graduated university. In what subject? And um, Odesky Institute, Pishiboy Haladin na Promotionisi, it is food, Conservation. Okay. This was my specialty. Okay. Believe it or not, but I worked in movie industry. You worked in the movie industry? Yeah. Ruski I movies? Worked, Ruski Kino or, or Ukraine? I worked. It was a special uh, design office. I worked in this movie industry as a designer, as an engineer wow. designer. Wow. And I worked here for a long time. And I actually you know, left with my specialty as a movie engineer. You were a movie engineer? Yes. You knew how to draw and... Yes. Uh, my I saw that in your book, your love, your love. Yes. Yeah, my specialty, we, we didn't have computers. Sure. We, we, uh, so we draw with, with a pencil. It was our um, tool, pencil. Uh-huh. When did you come to United States? In the United States, I came in '92. I had very hard time. I had a very hard relationship with my husband, and um, so this poor guy was sick when he was young, before his marriage, and he divorced, and so after all. You got divorced. I did divorce my husband first. I, it was my second husband. Okay. He needed somebody to feel, to feel better, so I became his victim. It was a terrible marriage, and I finally... Was he abusive? 
Huh? Was he abusive? Oh, and he was, you no, know, he was very, 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 uh, no, he was abusive, like he sees. Yeah. And he was physically abusive. No, no, no. No, he was not physically abusive. Okay. I forgave him. He died already. I have a daughter. Okay. She's wonderful. Mm -hmm. she, she lives is, in San Diego? No, she lives in San Jose. San Jose? Yes, in the heart. And I have, so, my grandson. How I great. My grandson. And uh, he's 20. Well, before the pandemic, what was your life like? Did you go I to Did again. you go to the New Life Club or anything oh, like yes. that? Okay. But I, I was very sick in Odessa, and I didn't know anything about what to do with myself. Mm -hmm. And the doctor couldn't couldn't find for me any cure because I had few surgeries here, and uh, and I found. Um, so and yoga was permitted, and somebody, uh, some, a friend of mine, uh, introduced me yoga techniques. Yeah, uh huh. So you were doing yoga, and I uh, had many many techniques, and one of the techniques was kriya yoga, and I started to study it, and it was a prayer, in Russian language, and I still remember it's a prayer of Russian language. And I supposed to make this prayer and to do some exercises, and to play with the breathing in my spine. Right. And I did it, and I was on work. They gave me disability in Odessa to have a disability for very very hard, but I was not able to work. I so my work was just drawing. Uh, drawing. Uh -huh. drawing. I was not able. And I was on disability, and then I started to do this technique. Of yoga? Kriya technique. Mm -hmm. And I did it each day in half year, for half, half year. And I felt better. They took me away from disability, and uh, I came back to my job. And it was uh, about teaching of Yogananda. Oh my gosh, Yogananda Paramahanda? Do you know? Yoga you know Honda about self realization. Yes, fellows? I do. Uh huh. Yoga Honda Paramahansa. So I am Paramahansa. a member of uh, self realization fellowship. Oh, how nice uh, is that? Huh? That's nice. Yes, I'm a member. It's of all self about breathing. It's about yes. breathing and. So this, they have another temple in uh, in Hillcrest. In Hillcrest. Yes, and I and I met wonderful people over there. Yeah. Wonderful woman. And actually, I had the meditation. They do meditation online. Uh huh. It is wonderful, wonderful place. Sure. Great people. One of them. So this book that is translated to this one. This is called "The Queen of the Universe: The Vortex of Creation" by Dora Klonova. God, you wrote. Let me show you what what yes. she wrote. She wrote, "The Queen of the Universe." A melody from an immigrant soul. Did you ever have a chance to marry an American millionaire? Well, Dora did, right? And yes. No, it is the same book. Yes, the same book. Published, but published. Uh -huh. yeah. So, Dora is really quite incredible. Yeah. That is incredible. Well, Dora, you, your life is really filled. I mean, you write. You found yourself. You made the best of your situation. Do you get help from the San Diego Jewish Family Service? Of course. Of course. Thank you, Hetty. Hetty Dallin is wonderful. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. They gave me a lot, and I'm very, very proud and uh, thankful for this. Yes. Who's the person that visits you? What is her name? I am attached to Russian Department in Jewish right. Family Service. Uh huh. It is. Tanya Lifshitz. Tanya, okay. Tanya Lifshitz and... Wonderful. Uh, and Ka Ka Katya? Is there Katya? Ta Tanya. Tanya, okay. Tanya Lifshitz. Okay. And Alina Arlanska is a wonderful Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> yes, thank Blow you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> sure. Did you watch the movie? Um, do you know about the movie Sweet Italy in Russian or Witnesses? 
The what now? Witnesses. Witnesses. Do you know about this? No. Do you know anything about uh, Konstantin Pham, the producer of this movie? Yes. You know about him mm -hmm. anything? Yeah. So this producer, he made absolutely outstanding witnesses. And then he works with, with another movie. Mm -hmm. He worked with Spielberg. He makes another another film. And the interesting thing that I would show you something. Okay. I just love it. She has her iPhone and her iWatch. <laughs> so it is him. It is Constantine Pham. Oh. And he came here. He came from, he came here, he didn't want to go inside when? to congratulate me with Mother Day. He oh. brought me flower, flowers for oh Mother Day. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Three, this year? He lives in San Diego, and, and yes. Wow. Oh, you are so cute. Look at you. Yes, it is. Uh, 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 and he said, no, I will not go because he just came from Vladivostok. Sure, and you and have to he, and he said, I don't know if, I seek, if I'm sick or not, but I brought you the right. flowers. Right, he brought you flowers. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. The interesting thing, that uh, she, he wrote this, my, um, did you have uh, the book? Did you he have read the book, did you ever yes. have a and chance you know to what marry he an American what millionaire? he's going to do. Make it into a movie? He, he will make a script, uh -huh. and then, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> God, but my husband all sense of religion, help me to make a movie from this. Absolutely, absolutely. So, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. No. So, me, God bless America. Doesn't matter what is going on right now with this country. Doesn't matter. But what this country gave to me. I definitely wouldn't try in my back in Odessa three books in English. No, she would not be doing three books in English. And Absolutely. it is interesting, you know what happened? I didn't know English, and after he died, something happened to me. Where you could, you where you learned it osmosisly or something? Yes, yeah. I, I think I was channeled. Yeah, you were channeled. I was channeled. Dora, I'm going to say you have been wonderful. I've really loved interviewing. I don't even know how long this interview is. I don't um, know. So, with that, let's wave to our audience and say thanks for watching. Dora? Planova? You're a survivor. You're a hero because you told a story. And ya ochin lublu. Tibia. Thank you.